A very good morning to you. Welcome to the first walking day of the week. My name is Felicity Ezewike and this is Off the Press. I'm joined this morning by social commentator Anihuvi Ayeni. Pleasure to have you join us. Good morning, Felicity. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for coming. All right, we'll start with the Guardian newspaper. We have a few papers. We'll see if we can get all of them done. Uh, people are actually crying on the front page of the Guardian newspaper this morning. I don't know if they can just flash it on the screen so you see. Um, it, it, the, the, under the picture, you see the People's Democratic Party in Imo and Abia protesting against the Supreme Court's annulment of Mecca Hedioha's election as the governor of Imo State. That's the, I mean, even the, a man is crying. He's crying, yes. I, I, what, <laughs> let, let me just start with your reaction before we go look at the other headlines. It's sad. It's sad. It's really sad. And the, the pictures actually depict desperation. It actually depicts the hearts of the people of what's happening now. The poverty, the issues that come out of poverty, out of, um, they look as if they have just been abandoned, they have been neglected. The source of their income, the source of their livelihood has been sucked out of them. And they are like, which way are we going now? Some people, some people would say this. Because they say these days you hire crowds. Is it possible to that um, actors are also part of this, or this is a genuine expression of pain? Pain, pain is pain, and be, unfortunately, because of the politics that is attached to it, so people will kind of say that no, it's all made up. I mean, historically, and and I think it still happens now. There are hired criers when somebody dies when a king dies or somebody a prominent dies in a household they actually hire people to come and cry or whether they are crying for real or they are crying for fake a tear is a tear and this kind of draws emotions i mean that was the yes. first thing you noticed yes. this morning and yes. you said something Indeed. especially the lady's face yes. just pulls at your heart yes it does yes. it draws emotions so and People actually knowing that people are actually hungry and in poverty, it does not really depict that this is a political move. And even if it is, everybody needs a means of livelihood. If people were happy, there's a Ministry of Happiness in Imo State, isn't it? <laughs> if people well, were... If that one is it, still existing. Is it existing? <laughs> so if people were happy, there will, be, there will be a lot of happiness on the front pages. But they are actually very sad. They need uh, let's the see they, 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 there's a possibility we'll see a counter protest of jubilation. I mean, we, match of jubilation celebrating the Supreme Court ruling. Really, <laughs> we never know. We never this know. Country. Anything happens. <laughs> Anything can happen. All right, let's see other headlines now. Uh, the big one here is confusion as submarine cable cuts, slows internet, banks, business transactions suffer. Operator apologizes as problem resolved. That's uh, on the front page, a big one there. Yeah. And then uh, we have tension in Kanu Bochi ahead of Supreme Court verdicts today. Ganduje Wakwanso camps predict victory for selves. Imo Abia PDP protest against the Hedio Heights removal. The picture already screams of that. And then we have Commonwealth Solidarity offers enormous benefits to Africa, Buhari declares. Atiku supports Amotekun, false central security architecture. Disease may soon become untreatable due to a lack of new antibiotics. That's scary prognosis there. I'll leave big shoes for my successor, says Dixon. On the back page of the Guardian newspaper, we have uh, some sports stories for you. We'll get to that in a little bit. But let's um, get um, your thoughts right now. Which of these would you want to talk on aside these pictures we mentioned earlier? We mentioned the submarine, the submarine issue. It has to do with a, it's an international problem that is affecting internet everywhere. And apparently it, ha it has started from Europe. There was a cut in cables that kind of trans transmitting to other things, affecting other areas. So Nigeria is also having to suffer from that. And you know, our internet system is not the most perfect in the world already yeah. without this problem. So it kind of speaks to the fact that let's up our game in this. The world has gone digital. Let's change the way that we do things. Our cables, even in Nigeria, our cables are are on the surface. Yeah. They are not deep enough. Yeah. So I think it's about time that we pay attention to some of this infrastructure that we need for a livelihood. You can imagine if there was actually no internet at all. I think there is some. <laughs> now that I wonder how it will look like. It, there was a there was a time you couldn't 
um, think about the internet. Like there was nothing like now you can't do anything. anything. You can't do anything without thinking about, about the internet. The internet. Hmm. Let's just leave that one. <laughs> Banga newspaper next for review this morning. Amotekun, we won't succumb to blackmail. Southwest governors speak. And then uh, you have a couple of writers to that story. I'll just take two of it. It says it's neither a regional army nor ethnic agenda. Um, it's Southwest tribal militia to bring about Ududuwa Republic. That's uh, Junaid Muhammad. Okay. At the very top of the paper, Leah Sharibu is alive. Jennifer Freed UNICEF staff says uh, we're developing intermodal transport to support economic growth. That's the SGF speaking. No progress in fight against Boko Haram. That's the EU talking this morning. Uh, we also have 2020 anxiety over prospects of PFA's investment in equities. That's a bit of finance for you. Again, the protest in Emo State, two pictures alongside each other, the president in the UK with Prince Charles and protest in Imo State, tears galore. Uh, at the bottom of that picture, you will see uh, sanitary pads among 20 basic items exempted from 7.5% VAT. And then Sarap asked Abuja court to stop payment of life pensions to cancel chairman speakers. Uh, those are some of the headlines for you. And of course, in the back, we usually have sports, so just get um, a new visa thought right now. Oh, we won't succumb to blackmail. The Southwest governors talk about Amotekun. Amotekun. Unfortunately, Amotekun has gone, has gone viral in a way that it shouldn't. It's a security body that these governors have created. I look at it more as a domestic issue that has, not go, has gone out into a national issue. And unfortunately, they're using this to open up old wounds. When Balarebi Musa says that, when Balarebi Musa is making a comment, and then they are now uh, blaming on the fact that Atiku made a comment and is backing, is backing the Amotekun creation rather than the government. The federal government of Nigeria has the number one authority, according to the Nigerian constitution, for overall security of the nation. However, some of that authority is given unto the governors by proxy because they're the governors of the state, this is what you do, and reports back to the government. However, they cannot make overall rules that kind of uh, sidelines what the police or the military are doing. They are a central body. Now, the way our security system is, the structure of our security system, these governors, um, the president, and all of them have sworn oaths to defend the constitution of Nigeria, and that is where they stand. Now, Amotekun has been created to safeguard. Now, the creation of Amotekun, the genesis of creation of Amotekun was, first of all, last year there was this sad news on the death of um, his the first daughter. Of his daughter. Then, Afenifere is not in support of the herdsmen because of the killings that are going on. They are not, in, they are not against the houses as a people, they are against the killings that are going on. Now, on the backdrop of that is how the story is being reported that Amotekun has been created. So it's opening up old wounds, unfortunately, in a way that it shouldn't. So I think the makers of Amotekun, the governors, please make a structure around it. Let everybody know exactly what you're doing. Get clarification with government and the bodies necessary. But it, it, it shouldn't, it, 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 this kind of controversy would, would have been, you know, exempted if they've done the proper thing in the first instance. Talk, get to talk with the government, talk with the police. I hear the police in one of the states has come up to say, you're not permitted to carry arms if we see you doing yes, this or yeah, doing yes, that and all of that, in spite of the explanation. Is it maybe there's a communication problem? Yes, unfortunately, and that is where the levels of, co the levels of communication come into being. The, you see, there are things that you cannot tell a child at the age of 10. There are certain things you understand at 15, some at the age of 20. There are certain things that you now leave in the coffers when it comes to security matters. There are secrets, there are top secrets and everything. So I think they should have done this at the beginning before making it public. Maybe they made it public too soon. Too, too much too soon. Too much information too soon. But it took a soon. lot of, it took like six months. 
Six months is not, is not long enough. Six months is not long enough for something that is going to be this widespread. And there is already there is a controversy between the houses, and unfortunately to say it like that, between the Mietis and the houses, the Yoruba, the ethnic division. So where, before you can bring anything out that is ethnical in tone, get the groundwork right so that when you bring it out, you bring it out strong. Unfortunately, it's been brought out in a weak way, and it's creating so much controversy that shouldn't be. All right, let's uh, go on to, um, we still have a more, uh, a more take home on the front page <laughs> of the Punch front newspaper. Front. It's all over the it's place. Over, it's Even the nation has it Everybody. on its front page. Well, let's see how the Punch is uh, looking at it this morning. Um, that's it. Operation Amotekun, we're not targeting any ethnic group. Southwest Govs allay fears. Go ahead. Let FG go to court, Afeba Balola tells governors. And then again, the PDP protests, also on the front page. My re-election is certain, declares Obaseki. A Leki Koi bridge for cashless toll begins today. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that again. A Leki Koi bridge full cashless uh, toll begins today yes. um the leah story aside from being alive uh, the worker that was released is saying she's around lake chad hope this information is useful to our security agencies and then the explosion pipeline explosion in lagos is also on the front page of the punch newspaper at the very top we have 20 food items pads others get vat exemption PDP APC goes spiritual as Supreme Court to decide Sokoto Benue Kanu Bochi polls today. We also have Buhari Songwolu Makende, others mon eulogize Are. Right on the back page, we have the leopard and the golden calf. Your thoughts? I'm not taking what wouldn't go away, will it? <laughs> Actually, the, the aid worker, Jennifer, who was released, said she did not see Leah. She only saw a, a young girl called Alice, and Alice says that Leah is alive and well. So actually, where Leah is, they didn't actually say. So if they are saying that she's around Lake Chad, then okay. that is something that I hope it's true and the security um, forces can uh, actually take it. Because something about the negotiation of the release of this lady's kind of broke down. That was why they were not released, and Jennifer was able to get released and go home to her family. And the, the governors, now Afe Babalala is now defending the Yorubas and tell, yes, let the federal government go ahead, yeah. let them go to court. <laughs> <laughs> and that they're not, oh, The no, Supreme Court, here. these people go in spiritual. Yes. Is, is God from one person and against the other? That's the question that has defied all understanding as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, because, you know, somebody might say, well, there's a prophecy that this will happen. Mm. And because of the emo state that the prophecy was, was proven mm. to be the truth, it's like, okay, let's go to this spiritual man. Maybe we'll seek the case face of God for us and hear what so God, God is God saying. So God loves one person and doesn't like the no, other. No, he does. I don't think it's I don't, that's, I don't understand <laughs> it. But I'm very glad that uh, sanitary pads and everything has been removed from VAT. Yes. Because indeed. it's an essential that is used by, is used by women Everybody. every single day. Every single day. And some of these young girls are having to compromise their own lives so that they can have it to use in schools. Mm -hmm. And it causes a lot of infection when it's they're talking about there. antibiotics. So actually, they are, one of the things is also prevention before cure. And prevention is being able to have access to sanitary pads rather than these children using all sorts of uh, materials that is going to cause infection for them. So that's a that's good a thing. Good that's good one, a yeah. good one. Uh, the Nation is our next paper. Southwest governors wouldn't back down on Amotic. Hmm? I guess we've talked about that <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, we'll go and look at all the uh, other headlines. Buhari... Olui Bado, Mon Are, Son Olu, others sad. Supporters hold vigil in Sokoto Bochi Kano. Anxiety has caught rules. Again, the protest in Emo captured on the front page. And food items, tuitions, others exempted from that. 50 directors moved into a massive FIRS shakeup. Moved, rather, moved in a massive FIRS uh, shakeup. Uh, six die in Ilori. Ogbomosho crash. Okay, um, on the back page, a bottling the leopard, hardball, and back as euphoria. All right, I'll speak quickly so we can take a break and get a sports guest in. Governance is about allaying people's fears, it's about making you and I feel safe. 
that when our food, clothing, and shelter, and pursuit of having food, clothing, and shelter, we can do it peaceably and we can do it viably and profitably, and that everything we do. So in terms of stories then coming out and then the headlines making people scared, it's time for government to look at it and say, OK, maybe this news is not supposed to go out this way. Maybe it's not supposed to be done this way. But what, how can we do it? to rally people's fears and make them feel much more comfortable. There's enough fear already. We just need something to come on and make us laugh. It's Ministry of uh, Happiness, maybe should be in the whole country. <laughs> than just the most state. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you very much for your Thank thoughts you. on the news. <laughs> All right, we'll go on a short break. And when we get back, we'll have a sports analyst here with us. Stay with us. Glad you're still with us. Our in-house sports analyst, Destiny Onoy Gloria, joins us for a look at the sports headline. Complete Sports is here. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. Much. All right, we'll uh, take a look at Indidi loses further ground. Uh, Siastia breaks in 4.7 million out of uh, 94 million naira as more Nigerians donate to help former Nigeria stars appeal. All right, there are other headlines here because of the limited time. I'll just ask you to talk about the, the ones that are the big headlines this morning for sports. Okay, definitely. Uh, some serious story. He's, uh, he's been charged uh, by FIFA for match fixing and he's facing a life ban. And uh, ni patriotic Nigerians are actually coming out to donate uh, money because uh, he's actually been. He has submitted an appeal to CAS, the Court of, uh, court of Arbitration for Sport in Switzerland. So um, he, was, uh, he was banned last August, sustained for match fixing. Well, I personally, I, 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 I really feel like he's been cheated because he's actually been uh, banned for match fixing because definitely he's not, one person cannot just be involved in match fixing because uh, now he's, he's going to have his career, like he's going to just Managed. have everything about him finished and he's not going to, he's everything, everything about him actually is just football and he knows nothing after football. So FIFA banning him for life, it's like a life, it's like a life threatening disease. So definitely we know that he's not going to come out of it, but he's he actually being uh, not fairly heard. I think he should be given a fair trial because okay. you cannot just, we have had uh, a lot of issues like this before, but life ban is, is, is actually a very big, it's a very big deal. Okay, any other one, quickly. Well, Liverpool, they are winning the league after 30 years. So, uh, it's, uh, they are, uh, United actually gave them a run for their money yesterday, but hey, they still came out 2-0 ahead. But this, they are now 16, uh, 16 points clear of everybody. So, I don't think anybody wants to face Liverpool right now. So, if they actually win the league this season, it's going to be 30 years since winning the league. So, it's going to be a very, very big deal for them. All right, let's take a quick look at the back page of the Vanguard Sports. MPFL. Plata United reclaimed top spot. Um, trash Adamawa 5 0. That's some beating there. Well, it's. Uh, Plata United have actually not. Uh, they've actually had a sloppy season. They win some, they lose some, both um, home and away. But yesterday was like a fine start for them. Now they are back in the table. And uh, it looks like if Lobby United slips again, then definitely they are winning this, uh, the league. All right, uh, I guess that's where we're going to pause for this morning. Thank you very thank much you for much coming uh, on you. the program. And of course, thank you for watching. We'll go for today. We'll be back again with all the latest headlines in our newspaper review tomorrow morning. My name is Felicity. So we get thanks for watching.